the answer. 59 at O'Hare. Next news at 730. Chicago's Morning Answer continues next on AM 560. The Answer. Now, from the Signature Bank Studios. This is Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan Proft and Amy Jacobson on AM560, The Answer. Good morning, Amy Jacobson here, John Anthony. Hey! In for Dan Proft, so glad you're here. I need a life 120, 120 life. Why? Because my blood pressure is... Oh, after that last segment with our yeah. last guest? In the last couple of segments, my blood pressure. I haven't taken my, my meds yet, so I'm... Yeah. I, I hear you, brother. I've yeah. been double dosing yeah. this past week. <laughs> but it's all right. God is good, right? God, all the time. And okay. all the time. And all the time. God is good. Thank you. There you go. All right. Well, we have an election coming up because, you know, Labor Day, that's a reset button because now we are on the driveway home. And it's not only the presidential race, but the... Cook County State's Attorney's yeah. race as well. And with that, we welcome back to the program our very good friend, Bob Fioretti. You ready for his resume? Yeah. And I'm ahead. about to give it to you. Two-term Chicago Second Ward Alderman and Second Ward Democratic Committee Leader and currently candidate for Cook County State's Attorney. Good morning, Mr. Fioretti. How are you? It is a good morning for sure. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, so the reset button has taken place. It is past Labor Day, so... What's the game plan between now and November, the first week of November? Well, the same thing as it has been. Get out, meet the voters, tell what our program is. Uh, and, of course, as you know, we don't. Uh, as being a Republican and in a Democratic area, uh, it's tougher to raise funds. But from what I hear from the people, and I was in four different parades this weekend and several festivals, uh, people want change. They want somebody to enforce the law uh, as it is written, uh, somebody to stop coddling violent criminals as the Democrats do. Uh, and I, I see a lot of change from people, and they want somebody who will stand up for uh, the victims here in this county and make sure that they back, that as state's attorney, somebody who will back the police. Uh, simple as that. That's what we're trying to do. Now, your opponent, she has been radio silent. I haven't seen any ads. I haven't, no billboards. I mean, I think I saw one campaign sign. Uh, has she, have you offered to debate her? Uh, we asked, uh, we sent out a letter, I think in mid-August, asking for a Series 5 debates uh, throughout the county so people can hear, not just uh, on one media outlet, uh, but we have not heard anything back, and uh, we're going to be pre pressuring her or her campaign to see what we can do on that. Uh, uh, I think the mainstream media ought to be taking the lead in terms of what they should be doing there and saying this is the most important office uh, for law enforcement uh, in the uh, not only in the, uh, the county but in the state, and people ought to uh, see what my opponent's positions are on the issues. During a debate, she said she had a 30-page proposal, uh, the debate, uh, or an interview, I should say, uh, during the primary, that she had a 30-page proposal to uh, change the office around. Well, let's find out what that, and she refused to give it out, so let's find out what it's about, what she's going to do, as opposed to my positions on what I plan on doing. Well, have you met with any of the victims' family members, of victims of violence here in the city of Chicago or in Cook uh, County in general? You know, I, I have over and over again mothers, families, uh, the five-year-old that was killed just blocks away from uh, my house here, uh, the seven-year-old also who was killed uh, virtually on, uh, right beyond Jackson and Western, uh, mothers who have had their uh, sons paralyzed by uh, violent criminal uh, conduct that we see out there. And, I mean, the numbers are just astonishing. I ask people, well, what do you think, how many people have been shot in the county? And I hear numbers like two, three 300. But when I tell them, as of today, 2,120 people have been shot in uh, the city of Chicago alone, uh, their mouths drop, and then 370 of those have been killed. Uh, 
is it's a, it's amazing to them, and they just can't believe those numbers. But those are the true numbers as of today. Because right. crime's not only in the city; no. it's it's spreading to the suburbs. Yeah. And there's no doubt about it. It has been, uh, and there's not really a tracking system in terms of uh, putting up the, what the numbers are in the county. We see carjacking happening uh, all the time, retail theft happening all the time, people being shot in the suburbs all the time, but it's just not reported the way the city of Chicago's uh, numbers are reported. Right. And, Bob, I don't know if you um, heard the 911 call from I believe it was in the area of 6100 block of King Drive. 6124 okay. King Drive, South uh, King Drive. About Venezuelan taking over an apartment complex. Now, speak to the voters of Cook County. What what can the Cook County State's Attorney's Office do to assist the policing agencies in, 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 in bringing this issue to an end? Because you, you see a lot of, I see Blexit on uh, YouTube going off right now. Because black people are flustered and frustrated in the black communities because most of these Venezuelans are within their communities and they're not coexisting together quite well. Well, I, I did not see the 911 call on that, but I know there's no uh, coexistence, uh, whether it's in the uh, black community or in the, uh, some of the white communities. I see it all the time. Uh, I, I was retained by a group of senior citizens uh, in the black community to see what we, uh, to stop what was happening at a uh, 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 an abandoned school that they put up and uh, when it found out I think when the administration found out that I was going to be the one handling it and they did not want black senior citizens behind me uh, and who I was representing, they moved them out of that school pretty quickly. Oh, but, that was South Shore, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was or, out on uh, 6400 South Ellis. Yes. That oh, area, right there. So, um, but, uh, you know, this is out of hand. We've given almost a half a billion dollars right now. Uh, we put them up in uh, some of the finest hotels here. Uh, we should be doing that for our veterans. Uh, and it's out of control in terms of what we see. I passed by uh, two or three of the places here in the West Loop and South Loop that I see uh, on a, almost a weekly basis. And uh, we see the continuing crime, the numbers of 911 calls that come from those establishments or around the area are just uh, beyond. Somebody has to enforce the law. If they're breaking the law, we need to enforce it. The problem is, and I've talked to a number of uh, judges who deal with the criminal courts, who are in the criminal court system, and they say, yes, they, get ar they may get arrested. When they do, uh, they're released immediately, and then they don't show up for court on their next appearance. Well, go wow. figure. All right, Bob Fioretti, where can we find out more about your campaign? Uh, Fear ready for Cook uh, at uh, dot com, and they can come into our. Uh, we have a campaign office at five twenty one West North Avenue, and we are opening up more across the county. All right, good luck to you, Hi, and we'll have you back on before the election. Bob Fear ready for Cook dot com, and he joined us on our Turnkey dot Pro answer line. Hear about the big stories of the day, then talk about them right here on Chicago's Morning Answer on AM five sixty. The answer. Ad paid for by America First Tax Group. Attention. If you or your business is behind in filing your tax returns or if you owe over $10,000 in back taxes to the IRS, please listen carefully. The IRS does not joke around and will not stop their collection efforts. If you're tired of the IRS letters, levies, liens, or waiting,